All right, folks, um, special treat today. I actually am breaking out a couple of tools that I used to use all the time. One is the uh, OBS uh, screen recorder. And the other is my Shure SM57. Um, I've had a few comments. Uh, one, hey, you should use a screen recorder, which, uh, yeah, I've done that. But uh, sometimes, you know, it just saves time shooting uh, video from a camera to the screen. Uh, and the other is... Um, the audio on my Panasonic 4K camera is kind of crapped out, so I um, thought, hey, you know, it sounds not going to get any better than through the uh, Shure SM57 that I have. So I decided to go that route today. Hopefully this will uh, will sound better and we'll, we'll keep going this way in the future. So uh, what the video is about today is... We want to update the BIOS on our Gigabyte B360DS3H motherboard. Okay, so I've done quite a few of these. Um, and in case you're watching this, 9th Gen i3-9100, um, I put that in the socket on a BIOS that uh, was from June of 2018 and it booted up. So not a huge rush to update your BIOS, but uh, you know, to make sure it has all the functionality of 9th gen, um, you may want to update the BIOS. Definitely keep an eye on it uh, before you update it and see if it just doesn't seem like it's running good because the BIOS update might help. All right, so uh, what we need to look for is Gigabyte B360. So I'm in, I'm in Google, hopefully you're catching this. Um, it actually just popped up there. So we'll put that in. Should take us right to Gigabyte site, which it does. And we're going to go over to support. And hopefully I will zoom in on the screen in each one of these so you guys can see it. I uh, want to go to BIOS. And on this one, they're up to F15. Some of the other uh, Gigabyte motherboards are not quite up that high. But uh, you'll see um, if you go down, this one was basically shipped with, uh, with F5, it looks like. So rather old if you look over to the right there's no mention of 9th gen until f6 which came out in july of 20. Um, but like i said it works so all right so obviously you can read all the stuff on the right side what it uh what it catches um it also talks about support of future 9th gen intel core processors and uh so all that is good because uh Right around when that one was coming out, I believe, is when the first i3-9100 came out. So uh, it's probably a good thing to uh, go ahead and, and get this. All right, so we're going to go to download. And since we're in America, we might as well pick America. Down at the bottom, you see it says, uh, what do you want to do with the BIOS? We want to save it. And I've already put a thumb drive in here. Um... The only negative about this thumb drive is that it has a uh, ability to put, um, I'm going to change it out. You don't want to have a thumb drive in there that could uh, install Windows. So, All right, so we, we went and selected a new thumb drive. And we'll go with this one. Um, so we're going to put it in here. And a thumb drive. All right, so it's downloaded. So that's pretty much uh, all for this step. Now I'm going to have to switch over to a camera uh, because you can't use the on-screen recorder inside the BIOS. So.
All right, one thing that we're going to want to do is click on that file and extract all. Uh, it's kind of an important step that I forgot. And um, it's probably going to say, do you want to overwrite it? Because I actually just did it. Um, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw it. So uh, we're going to replace the files. You won't have to do that step, but uh, there it is. So uh, it just makes it easier. The only other thing that I would suggest doing is um, because they put these odd titles in here. This one you actually can tell um, it's the BIOS for that uh, motherboard. Sometimes you cannot tell. So if you're doing this for something else, um, just check to make sure that the folder name kind of matches the name of your motherboard. All right, folks, so um, we have our USB stick in there. Um, this is actually one that has the uh, micro SD reader. This is the uh, the DN1000 model. Uh, this is the one that has the gigabyte motherboard in it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And you can see I've got quite a few computers in here. But uh, as soon as I turn on, I'm going to start hitting the delete key. All right, YouTubers, so if you know me, you know I don't like to be in my videos. Um, there are actually two ways to get into the place where you're going to update the BIOS. We uh, chose the, uh, the longer route, which is basically hitting the delete key. So if you scroll your mouse to the bottom, you'll see this. This will pop up. You got easy mode. You can change your language. And then QFlash. QFlash is where we want to go. And so this brings us up to a spot where it says update BIOS. Before we do that, let's take a look at what we've got here. Like I said, June 2018, and it was BIOS F5, just like I discussed. So we're going to click on uh, update BIOS. All right, so um, we're going to go into this USB, and there you'll see the folder that we had. And then over here to the right is our BIOS. Apologize uh, for the reflection on the screen. It's uh, unfortunate. Um, it's so bright right now. So we're going to click on this. And then there's fast and intact um, we're gonna go with the uh, the intact one and then I'm gonna pause this hey everybody there I am um, so we've got uh, it's gonna take a little bit I'll pause it till it gets closer to 100% all right so uh, once it's done doing that it's going to reboot and uh, we'll uh, hopefully catch it on the way up hitting the delete so we can get in here all right so let's go over to easy mode again and there you have it folks updated BIOS F15 uh, which I believe was a July date and now let's go ahead and uh, have it go into Windows and just verify everything's working good all right so um, we're up in Windows and everything seems to be running fine. And you can see um, we have the i3-9100 in here. And once again, the F15 uh, for the BIOS version. So this is another place to go check to see if your uh, computer is working. So I'm going to run through a couple programs and see if they will actually work good. All right, so the first program I threw on here is uh, HitFilm Pro. And this is going to be a uh, 4K uh, rendering slash editing 
uh, type thing. So this actually really taxes this computer out. And so we are going to uh, start exporting. And this will take about a minute and 18 seconds. So I'm going to pause it. All right, so you can, uh, oh, wrong computer. So you can hear this thing uh, is basically screaming. This program uh, doing this 4K editing really uh, makes it work. All right, so I forgot this is not the uh, supercomputer I have. This is a much slower one. So it's going to take a lot longer to complete. All right, so it uh, finished in 2 minutes and 56 seconds. No problems there. Let's run a benchmark. So we're going to do the user benchmark. And the, the user benchmark will uh, also tax our system, um, including doing some graphics runs. So we'll see how it compares to the scoring it had before the update and what it is now. So this software is going through, checking out our CPU, doing some number crunching, checking out our drives, and eventually the graphics card. Uh, in this case, this is an i3-9100 without a graphics card, the internal uh, graphics. So you'll see it'll go through this little video and some other ones. All right, so it's complete. So let's go ahead and open her up. And voila, so we'll switch over to a screenshot of this. And you will see um, we've got low uh, background CPU, so that's good. So this thing, uh, not too bad. Um, not, you know, not really a gaming computer, but for a uh, desktop computer where you're surfing the internet, doing some word processing, basic tasking, uh, not a bad machine at all. Um, workstation score actually is not too terrible so you could do some light work um, you know Photoshop um, I wouldn't really use this for CAD the way it's set up but uh, maybe some computer aid design um, it will run HitFilm Pro and uh, I don't think I would use 3DS Max with it uh, not at least without bumping up the RAM and throwing a graphics card in it but uh, overall, it is performing well. The CPU is above expectations and uh, not bad at all, folks. So um, I would say this BIOS update was a success as of uh, only, you know, about 20 minutes out. Uh, time will tell. And obviously, there'll be more BIOS updates. But uh, for the time being, there probably will not need to be an update. Uh, beyond this one. So thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.